down here out today. Got me a 1940. Only got about an hour and a half before I got to go to work. But it's a 1940, but it's got some green, good green tone to it. Anyway, on to the next one. I'm out in the new yard now, and I just popped a rosy. My first one for a long time. Pretty happy about this. This house probably built in the 40s. It's a 1951 rosy. All right. My first one I've dug in a long time. So far, I've got a wheat and a rosy out of this yard and a bunch of clad. So I'm pretty happy about that. All right. Well, hopefully I can get a few more of these. It's cool. Gotta like that silver. On to the next one. I just dug this up. I think it's an eagle's head or something like that. It's pretty cool. That's what it looks like. I'll have to clean it up more. But it looks pretty neat. That's awesome. I don't know what it's going to be looking like, but it's going to look like it's pretty cool. Look like an eagle or something. It's down about six inches. It's awesome. On to the next one. Yeah, this one was kind of a little different hole. It had uh, had a coin in it, a one center, had a light bulb end in it and had two nails in it. So, wow, what a hole, huh? I think it's a 54. Not real old, but it's all right. It's a wheat. Need some silver. On to the next one. Got a car. It looks like it's a Volkswagen here. Not much paint on it left. I kind of bet that was lead paint. That's kind of cool. Alright, on to the next one. Look at that, would you? It's a small spoon. A little bitty spoon. That's the smallest one I've ever come across. Wow. That's really unique. Small little gold spoon about six inches down. How cool. That's cool. All right, let's see what else we can find. That's awesome, man. Smallest spoon I've ever found for sure. Another car. Mm -mm -mm. That's two, two cars pretty close together. Just can't seem to get that silver though. I want that silver quarter. Hopefully I can get one here pretty quick. Got a wheat. 1950. Well, I'm still hunting that silver. I've only found one silver coin in this yard. I know there's got to be some more silver somewhere. Just got to hit it. As many wheats as I've found, I only found one silver coin. Oh well. I was wanting to do a little follow-up here. <clears throat> I've got some hunting here. Now I've hunted probably, to find this stuff, I've probably got about uh, about six hours, maybe seven hours of hunting involved. Some evening hunts after work. A little bit of hunting before work and then I hunted uh, from about 11 to 3 a day or two ago in the afternoon. So I'll start off from left to right here. I've got a porcelain jar lid. I think this is porcelain, but it's kind of different than what I usually see. It's clear on the edges and in white in the middle. So it may be a glass one, but it's intact. I always like finding those. Someday there might be some gold underneath one of those jar lids. You never know. Nothing yet, though. An old bullet casing here. 30 out 6 or something of that sort. Pocket knife, bone handle. It's chewed up pretty good. Got this piece, is pretty neat. 
I'm not sure what it is. It's got some decoration to it. Got the old lead sinker weight. Go fishing with that. This is a tag. I don't know. It's got some letters on. I don't know if it means anything. And I got some play ankle bracelet, I believe. It's not silver. I think it's copper plated silver. This was really unique find. It's a <clears throat> Thunderbird. It's all lead cast. It's kind of neat. The eye on it. It's lead. And uh, I believe it was maybe a top to a flagpole or something like that that had an eagle on it or a bird crest on it. It was pretty neat. It was about four inches down. I'm pretty happy with that. Got some junk lids there. And oh, got this tonight. It's kind of neat. It's got some really neat design on it. The backside's got some really cool designs on it too. Usually I wouldn't think a drawer pull would have design on the back, but I'm a guessing that's what that is, is a drawer pull. And I got this. I think this is part of a bell. I don't know for sure, but I think it may even be silver. I, I don't find any writing on it, but it's not pitted or anything. Uh, I just don't know. There's no stamp of any kind on it sewing it silver. It just feels like it's got that silver feel to it. I, I don't think it's chromed. I don't know for sure if it was a bell of some sort. I just don't know. It's kind of different. Uh, got these cars. Hot Wheels car. And uh, Mattel. Some of these are kind of valuable. I'm not real sure. I'm not up to date. This car here looks like it's an old Dodge. Back in the 70s. They didn't run very good back then. I don't know why why people would still be playing with these. But anyway, and then you got your old uh, VW Bug with the lead paint on it. Probably got to eat off by the kids and stuff. So that's kind of neat. neat. Um, one of the things I did find that I really liked, and it's kind of different, was this old metal thing. I was going to throw it away. And the only reason I didn't, I looked at it, it had writing on it. It says something about... Uh, U.S. Patent, July 30th, 1901, um, trade. I just don't know. It's got that writing on there, and I was going to throw it away, and, and I decided, I looked at it and seen it had something stamped on it. It looks like an old crushed can. I just don't know what it is. But with the stamp of it and the trademark and all that, I'm, I'm going to keep it. So, kind of neat. Um, I'll start off here with my wheat, left to right, 1937 wheat, 1940 plain wheat, 1956 D wheat, 1952 wheat, drop down, 1919 wheat, 1950, that was pretty cool. 1944 wheat, which those are real common, and a 1910. Now I found three 1910 wheats in this one yard, and I have yet to find an Indian head in this yard. I know there's got to be an Indian head if I'm finding that many wheats. There's got to be an Indian head floating around somewhere. I just haven't hit it yet. Now, dropping down here, got a Silver Roosevelt, 1951D. He's in pretty good shape. And uh, got the deep man on the back. Pretty neat. And don't get many silvers, but there's one. Then I found this two spoons. I got this spoon this evening. I believe this to be copper. It's got a cool heart on it. It's a real small spoon. 
not much to it. I mean, smaller than a baby spoon. It's like a play spoon of some sort. And I thought that was small, and the other day I got this one, which is even smaller. It's gold-plated, and it fits inside this one. So there's two little spoons. I don't know if they're snuff spoons or what they are. Kind of different, though. Gotta like it. Drop down here, I got ten Roosevelt clad dimes, all new ones. I jump up to my memorials. I got 27 memorials. And there's a few of them in there in the 60s. Drop down, I got a couple new nickels there. Nothing old at all. Got uh, 12 quarters. No, no old ones. And I got 22 zinc pennies. So, I'm pretty pleased. I'm wanting to get that old, old seated dime or something like that. And I'm hunting in the area where they're, they're at. I just haven't hit one yet. And uh, I know I'm busting some old coins. I just got to get that real old one and play the slow and go slow and low game and try to dig every reading that I can get that sounds like it's got any count to it. Sound like it's got any kind of tone to it at all. So, anyway, that was a couple of hunts that I did. So, until my next hunt, I'll share that one with you too, hopefully. This is Mike. And go hunting, get out there, and have a good time.